Hi beautiful and welcome back to my channel. We got another closure week because it's a closure summer. Thank you to Unice for sponsoring today's video and sending me this unit. And I did these nice layers for y'all today. I love a layer. I don't know if y'all can tell, but this is a closure. And yeah. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, stay tuned and keep on watching and we can definitely get on into it. Before we get to real time, Julia, I just wanted to show you guys these highlights. They're all throughout the unit and I really, really like that. Sometimes the highlights can be kind of sparse. I probably could have refrained from the skin tint, but I digress. I mainly wanted to show you guys this inside breathable cap construction. It's so open, I could put my finger through it. So that's going to be really good on the scalp. I'm throwing it on now and I am going to be talking throughout this whole install. I just wanted to really quickly show you guys that. So yeah. Yeah, don't bring that thing. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's me. I got this closure wig and I just threw it on. It's kind of looking a little crazy, but I'm not. I'm not. We gonna we gonna get it. I don't know what it is that's about this make me. I didn't. I didn't plan on. I I planned on coming on here and saying hi, beautiful. But then I put on the wig and then the wig ain't look like what I thought it was gonna look like. And that's okay. Like you feel me? That's you feel me? That's always okay. So hi, beautiful. Welcome back to my channel. Got your tea. Got the unit today. I told y'all it's a closure summer. So. More closures. And this place already comes pre cut. The unit is from You Nice. Let's get into that again. Of course, a little goodie bag. And then they sent this jewelry. I don't know. I don't know. Everybody better get this jewelry. You sent me this jewelry. And you know, we got the, the You Nice drip earrings. So I rock these after you install your wig. Maybe if, maybe if I, um, first I, maybe I'll, I'll see this a little clearer. I'm about, all I did. Off camera was flat on the unit, and like I said, the lace comes pretty good. So just toss this bad boy on, and they don't want me to use no spray. So I'm gonna see what I can do about that. But the wig is on. You feel me? Like it has elastic band in it. I show you guys the cap construction. The inside cap construction is like see through, and you can like they told me put my fingers through it, so y'all can know that it's it's. It, I guess it's just gonna be so full of air. Being so unfor I'm taking it because my mom is sitting in the other room and I need to hurry up. So I need to stop being unfor real and be more for real. We about to go eat and I need to hurry up. So hopefully this doesn't take me very long. I've only been doing this for two minutes and it seems like I just need to throw my layers in, do some baby hair, and fix up this lace. Let's get into that. I'm not a big fan of straight across. Straight across don't really sit right with me, so I'ma just grab Razor and just not a razor. This seems real intense. I'm gonna grab my little small scissors. I'll be right back. You can kind of just see that line demarcation. Is that necessarily a bad thing? No. But is it my thing? No. So I'm gonna just go in and just add a little bit of. A little bit of that. You see already? It just already looks like not straight across my forehead. That's what we're going for. And then to just further make this really natural, I'm going to go in and really solidify this part. Fuck any hairs that don't really need to be there. Easy Edges Edge Stick in the back to just create that flat unit. I don't like my wigs looking bulky. And sometimes with closures, they can look kind of bulky because it isn't, it's mostly like tracks. So we got to find a way to get these tracks flat. And if you want your closure to look like a frontal, just make sure you get the really side edge so that it all blends in together when all it's said and done. Got my eyebrow razor and I'm just gonna cut out these baby hairs. Any hairs you don't get, just get with your scissors. Hairspray on baby hair while we curl. And we got a new favorite for the baby hairs. This is a red pencil titanium stylus. And I like to do the front part of my baby hair first and then the back, just because I kind of like them to be two separate entities. And I've been trying to get really good at not burning myself because I can't keep burning this pretty face. I like to also do the back first, just so I can get everything looking as frontalish as possible. This is gonna come to get an idea of like how everything is gonna look. And I really love the way the flat iron like curls. That's so good. I'm gonna use this edge control. I'm not gonna try to use anything wet, but more so things that are sticky so that even if my lace 
I can show you guys the wig is glueless, but also put it back down and lay it flat still. Going with the brush portion, that one would be a little fluffy. And this is a good time to swoop your hair back into itself so that everything like blends really seamlessly. And I try really hard not to get any product on the edges, like the ends of the, um, not the edges, the ends of the edges, just so that they remain, they maintain that fluffiness. And then we can go ahead and do the front. Now, pre-baby hair, what's I feel in this wig? Probably not. Now that the baby hair are here, I am slowly becoming a fan, but I'm gonna have to see the whole finished product. Cause usually with colored units, I like to have a frontal just so I can feel like it really is all, you know, that same color. But now that I got these baby hairs and it's giving more frontal, I think I'm feeling it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side of baby hairs off camera and I'll come back when it's time to do, you know, my famous final touches. Aren't y'all glad y'all got the good side for the camera? Because I got off camera, sorry, I get up. I don't know what I don't know what she's about, but I'm gonna plug in my barrel curling iron. Uh, memory popped up not so long ago with me with this brown hair like this with blonde highlights and like frontal form but I am very excited to look like that again because that day I looked very very good. I'm gonna hairspray this so that you know the baby hair can be the baby hair and the, the, the hair hair can be the hair hair. See how that look? That That's nice. I like that. Well, let's get into these layers. I want them really sharp. I want them layered. I'm gonna start at my chin and I'm using my razor. I need a new razor comb but this is what we got right now. It's gonna work. I'm gonna start at my chin area and just kind of it's giving that real choppy layer but like really defined. Okay, so let me layer this side of course come back kiki with y'all and then of course I'm gonna have to make these ends blunt of course. So let me keep adding these layers. See, it just, it just doesn't look as good sparse. But as soon as you just go ahead and clean that up, turn it to a whole new wig. Let's add these bumps now. That's hot. That's very hot. I'm liking that. Any hairs that just aren't really going with the flow, get rid of those so that the flow can flow. Of course, let me do this other side. I'll be back with my final thoughts and of course, more final touches. I'm, I'm, in, I'm indifferent, you know? I don't dislike it and I don't love it, you know? It's definitely happened. Maybe because I just know what a frontal version of this is like and I, I can see how that eat, but also this is very, you know. I'm supposed to do my lip. Let me do my lip real quick. I might as well do it on camera. This liner is so good. You go from like buying cheap liners because you think like, oh, it's a dollar, I'll just get another one. But then you spend like 10 on a liner and you're like, whoa. That's what the difference is. And that's in the color Coffee Bean. It's the Lux Liner Coffee Bean. This is the Coffee Shop Gloss in Cream de Cacao. So how did I just know it was cacao? Like that could have been cocoa. <laughs> so brought something different, got some color in. Another closure, told y'all it's a closure summer. So you like, I want a color closure. Now you got one. <laughs> so hope you guys enjoyed the video. I did, and I left some good layers, so try them out for yourself. Leave a picture on Instagram, Beauty Via Julia, and if you liked the video, like the video. I will see my next one. Bye, beautiful.